Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com, and this time out, we're going to do a name change for a SharePoint uh, website. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, that generated from this particular question, do you have to rename a website? So this is a video I did on how to rename a SharePoint calendar. So if you want to know how to do that, I do have a video out there for that. And she just asked, do you have to rename the website also? If you want to rename a um, SharePoint calendar, you don't have to do anything with the naming convention of the website. But I'm going to show you how to change uh, your main website uh, name and URL if you want to do so. And then um, if you have pages that you want to change information on, I'll show you that real quick. It's not, it's not incredibly difficult. So let's open up um, Office. And if you're wondering why um, I'm wearing a Christmas hat is because the life of me, I could not find my baseball hat. <laughs> so, um, all right. So if you go here and then you bring up your office, if your office online, I'm assuming most people are. And then we'll, uh, well, let's change. It doesn't really matter what we change. Uh, let's go to admin. And then we need to go to our SharePoint admin. So if you see here, admin centers, if you're not aware you have that, you can go to all admin centers and we'll go to SharePoint. So I guess if Hallmark uh, can play Christmas movies in October, I can wear a Christmas hat. Um, it's better than the alternative, showing my messy hair. So let's go to sites, active sites. Um, we'll change, what's one I don't really give two knuckles about? Motive care. All right, let's bring that one up. Motive care. Yeah, I don't care too much about this site. So this is just a, a place I worked for for a short time. I was doing their, their SharePoint site, but... Um, you're no longer in the picture. <clears throat> so if you click on it, you can come over here. So this is where you can edit the name. So I'll, I can just put like test site or something like that. Okay, and then uh, just simply save it there. And then that's been saved. So here's the URL. And then so everything your images and everything should change to this um, naming convention. So we're gonna test it out. So let's call this test website, test website. Okay, available. So you will save that. You also enter a new username. Do you also want to, so I'm gonna put no, cause we just did it. So you can, so it does ask you that. I didn't realize that it was going to ask you that, but. Um, but you already know how to change the name. It's right there. So it's updating everything. Um, so we haven't built a hub. I don't think I've done a video on a hub. Um, maybe I should do that. It's basically like a main site and then you connect all your other sites to it. Hence the name hub, right? Okay. Well, that's doing that. Let's, let's go here. So if you want to change, let's go to edit. So say you want to change the description, um, of the site. Let's go here. So you can go here and change your description. Um, you can change your thumbnail of the main site. And that's basically how you do it with every page. Okay, so as you see right here, it's been changed. So if we go over to the other site and uh, make sure you republish this if you made any changes through uh, changing the, the page details. So let's republish that. And as you see up here, we have a uh, test website. So if we go to tutorials, um, and for some reason, these pictures did not generate over. Um, I had to fix them myself and I'll show you how to do that. But, um, for instance, these came over fine. All these pictures are fine. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. I tried to look stuff up and, um, I didn't find a satisfactory answer. So if any of you folks have a good one, I'll certainly throw them down in the comments. But I mean, if you have a lot, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, if you have a few, it's not so much. You just go into edit. And page details. And then you can change the thumbnail. Go to site. And this is transition to. And then just grab that and select. I know it's ridiculous. Update news. And we'll go back and it should fix it. So I don't know why it brings the other ones over and not that one. So there you go. So it's a fix, unless any any of you other folks um, 
have any ideas. So if you want to change um, the main URL here, your main domain, there is a way to do that. I'm going to put a Microsoft video at the end of this video um, to show you specifically how to do that. It's much, very much more involved. It's not for your um, novice or your amateur to get involved in. Uh, I'm not changing the name of my, my domain site. So I'm just going to have uh, Microsoft explain it. So we'll stick around and for that, make sure you subscribe, you like, you share, you hit the bell, all those good stuff that you do at the end of a video. And um, yeah, watch this. When you first signed up for Microsoft 365, you created an onmicrosoft.com domain like this. Even if you later added a custom domain, this original onmicrosoft.com domain is used for all your SharePoint and OneDrive URLs. Use Microsoft PowerShell if you need to change the SharePoint domain name. Before you begin, read this documentation carefully to make sure your organization meets the requirements and that you're prepared for the limitations. When ready, go to aka.ms slash SPO rename add domain. The current on Microsoft.com domain is seen here. Select Add Custom Domain, enter the new on Microsoft.com domain, and select Add Domain. Finally, navigate to the link at the top and make sure the status for the new domain is listed as verified. After you've added the new on Microsoft.com domain, you're ready to begin using PowerShell. Ensure you have the latest version of the SharePoint Online Management Shell. Note this program can't be installed on a Mac. Compare your version number with the latest available version. If you have an older version, uninstall it and download the latest version. Start the SharePoint Online Management Shell and type the command connect-spo-service along with your admin center URL, which is https colon slash slash your current domain name dash admin dot SharePoint dot com. You'll be prompted to sign in as a global or SharePoint admin. Now type start dash SPO tenant rename and the parameter dash domain name. Enter the new domain name you added earlier. Then add the parameter scheduled date time. Specify when to do the rename. It needs to be at least 24 hours in advance, but no more than 30 days in the future. Use the format four digit year dash two digit month dash two digit day. Then type T then hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, second, second. The time you enter is based on the current date and time of the computer you're using. Press Enter. Press Y to confirm that you've prepared for the limitations and are ready to proceed. Success shows that you've successfully scheduled your domain rename. After waiting for that period of time to pass, you can check to confirm the rename. Start the SharePoint Online Management Shell. Type the command connect-spo service with your admin center URL to sign in as a global or SharePoint admin in Microsoft 365. Then type the command get-spo tenant rename status. Here, you can confirm that the status of the rename is success. When you enter the name of the old admin center URL, it automatically redirects to the SharePoint Admin Center at the new URL. Similarly, when you enter the URL of a SharePoint site, it redirects to the new URL. Likewise, if you open your OneDrive, you can see the new URL. When you want to connect, inform, and manage content across your company, SharePoint and Microsoft 365 brings it all together. It's a place where you can host your team's intranet. Like a team site to co-write documents, track projects, and share resources. Or a communication site to engage with and broadcast news to a bigger group. Text, images, and documents let you personalize content and get it looking sharp. Hey, that's nice. SharePoint is where you can search and discover expertise and insights to connect the dots in your work. Streamline your team's day-to-day -day with workflows. Ugh, so much better. And collaborate securely with people both inside and outside your org. 
So stay ready and keep your team mobile and resourceful with SharePoint.